Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back, and today I'm flying on American 511 from from Orlando to Washington D.C. Um, this is part two of the this flight, and um, we're on an American 511. As you can see, it's an A320. It's a beautiful aircraft made by Phoenix. Uh, we are open descending right now to flight level 300, and we're gonna. Um, Enter our um, what's it called? The plans for the um, approach. So we're just gonna go to DC and then arrival. Um, it's gonna be RNAV 19. There's no ILS, which really sucks. It's gonna be an RNAV approach. Yeah. Um, and then it's gonna be a uh, was it transition. I'm just gonna check the flight plan once again. It's gonna be Cat, Cats 3, Cats 3 Star, and the Waves Transition. Insert. Looking pretty good. And then we're gonna enter our arrival data. Fly 3034. Zero three four Q and H temperature is going to be fifteen so one seven zero slash how many knots seven knots seven knots uh there's no radio wow look at that there's no radio it's only barrel uh because it's an R and A first there's no ILS there's no radio there. Radio is necessary in order to make a uh, ILS approach. It's only ILS on number one. Um, so that's LDA. Uh, so LDA is... What the hell is LDA? LDA approach? Hmm. It's a localizer directional A. That's like... It's not even an ILS approach. It's an LDA approach. Uh, we're looking at RNAV, I guess, so, I don't know, RNAV, yeah, we're, we're looking at RNAV, so, are we, um, is there any other option? Okay, we're gonna go here, I will. There is a. Uh, 883 contact Jacksonville Center on a 127.87. I'm sorry. Uh, contact Jacksonville Center 127.87. 127.87, thanks for the help. Uh, so we're following a Someone LDA. Someone please contact Jacksonville Center 127.87. Localizer, localizer guided. 187, four, we'll guided okay, approach. American 511 contact. Gore, correction. Contact Washington Center 132. Uh, I'm sorry, 133.72. 133.72 American 5 Washington Center, Delta 71, the crew at flight level 370 will cross by jacket. Three. So decision altitude is going to be 1100. Bear value. Cool. All right, secondary flight plan, copy active. American 511 is passing altitude, flight level 300. American 511, Washington Center, descend and maintain flight level 290. Roger, descend and maintain 290, American 511. Southwest 5406, descend by the Caps 3 arrival, Washington landing south to Richmond altimeter 3032. American 511, can you repeat that? Southwest 5406, descend by the Caps 3 arrival, Washington landing south to Richmond altimeter 3003. Roger, descend by a Cap 3 arrival, American 511. Uh, negative. That was not for American 511. There, American 511 maintain flight level two nine zero. 
Sorry, uh, maintain 290, American 5 Southwest 5406, Washington. Sorry about that, 5406, go ahead. That was 5406, Southwest 5406, going to Washington. How do you hear, sir? 555. Southwest 5406, did you copy your descend via instruction? Negative. Southwest 5406, descend via the CAP 3, arrival Washington, landing south, Richmond, altimeter 3032. And via the CAP 3, arrival Washington, landing south, southwest 5406. So here's our plan. We're gonna land at Washington DC for grade one nine. And then we're gonna do a single engine taxi as usual to our gate. Um, it's gonna be fun. I guarantee. Another single engine taxi session coming up. American 511 descend via the CAP 3 arrival, Washington landing south, the Richmond altimeter 3031. Roger, American uh, 511 uh, descend via CAP 3 arrival, um, Washington south, uh, altimeter 3001. And American 511, the altimeter 3031, 3031. Roger, 3001, uh, 3031, American 5 Washington, Washington, Southwest 551, checking in with you. We are at seven, two miles north east of Flirt, 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 380. Southwest 551, Washington Center, Roger. Radar contact, appreciate that's reported by the Wilson Radar, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. All right, managed descent. American 1787, contacted land center 132.9 or 7. 3297, good day, American 1787. Route 1627, Cleveland State in the north, Cleveland offline. Radar service terminated, change to advisory proof. All right, have a good night, Route 1627. United 710, contacted Atlanta center 132.9 or 7. Over to Atlanta, As far as I can see, there's no discontinuity. Oh, there is a discontinuity. So, as 
so we're just gonna hide this. Just in case. I'm not sure, we're gonna... We'll see. Manage to send. Washington, good evening. This is Air France 2857. Air France 2857, Washington Center, I don't. I don't Air France 2857. Air France 2857, radar contact one three miles southwest of Potsdam, flight level 400. Here for Slim Tier 57 Bridges. Stair gas, Mom, well, this stair. American 1681, contact Atlanta Center 132.9 or 7. 132.9 or 7, American 1681, thanks. You know what I want to uh, fly? Delta 695 is the Number one, Concord. Washington Center, I don't. Number two, I don't six nine five. I'm gonna fly CS 300, meaning a two two zero. But originally it was a Bombardier um, CS 300, right? I want to fly that aircraft on the sim. Delta 695 radar contact, 5 miles northeast of Potsdam, flight level 3 8 sir. Delta 695. But CS300 cockpit's like a mix of Boeing and Airbus. It's got a side stick, but it's got like a 77 class cockpit. It just looks absolutely stunning. Southwest 5406, verify you're descending via the CAP 3 arrival. We're descending something 646. And so I would say the 406 to server, you're descending via the arrival, not just descending. Yeah, we're descending via the arrival, so it's 406. So we have managed to see that. It's been a long time I've known the KMG 727. When Prepar 3D was a thing, Prepar 3D version 4, <laughs> the first one that had 64 bit support. Anyhow, uh, Good evening, Washington Center, Delta 413, 5, uh, 15,500, climbing 230. Two, uh, two, Delta 413, Washington Center, Center climb maintain, flight level 380. I maintain 380, Delta 413. Southwest 1588, descend via the Chesley 5, arrival to Charlotte Landing South, the Greensboro Altimeter 3032. Washington Center, Delta 71 with you at flight level 300. Delta 71, Washington Center, descend and maintain flight level 270. Maintain flight level 270, thanks, Delta 71. Good afternoon, Deblu 661. 
Vater von Fufu Hero. Triple six sixty one Washington Center. You guys are even curious, like what setup I use. I basically have an iPad as my electronic play bag. And I have this like e pad that I have like right down all the ATC notes and uh, all the remarks. And I also have this um, EFR. Uh, so there's like phonetic alphabets here and then there's different like stuff for like communication. Altitude, visibility, and then both of the be a point of not the IFR, but still pretty useful. I actually bought this at a John Wayne airport, so it's like it's used by actual like pilots. And then real interesting thing about this notebook is that Watch good evening, Tony. Two eight nine actually the finisher three two six on the door five. Or excuse me, cavalry five. So on the front page. So my primary, primary, uh, primary, 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 it's gonna be a good, you know. Imagine being like a, uh, imagine being a business owner, self engineer, and a pilot at the same time. Okay. That would be kind of crazy. Business owner. Delta 71, descend via the Cavalier 4, or uh, correction, Cavalier 5, or uh, Dulles Landing South, Richmond Altimeter 3031. Via the Cavalier 5, arrival, uh, Dulles Landing South, and 3031 for Altimeter. Thanks, Delta. So, where are we? We're almost at Mays. Gosh, we still have a long way to go. Uh, yeah. Dial that. Still got a long way to go. Gosh. Okay, we uh we just hit flight level one eight zero. Our QNH value three zero three four. Awesome. Three zero three four pop. QNH 3 for American 5 1 yeah. Let's see what we got. I don't even know where we are. It's pretty cool out there, right now. Um, that's Richmond. And you're heading to Washington. We're already in the state, we're just gone. Yeah, 
Um, we're officially on a star now. So, we're on the right of the Yeah. Um, see all the three buildings there, but. And the highways. Uh, it's. It's really interesting because this is the stuff I work on as well. Um, so, these are. Um, I'm pretty sure. There's like different permutations of the buildings. Austin for Senator the autogen. 1310 descending via the dumpster to arrival. And then they use level satellite images from different angles and then they run photogrammetry. Washington Center, Raleigh Altimeter 303. Even that the uh, company that made this thing, the uh, right. map of 3D geometry of the whole entire Earth is. I think it has like a three 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 and expecting two you said two three so right. My guess is that they use That's a technology called two, three, right. NERV, which is neural That's expecting runway two three right delta mission, thirteen ten. Field. Was it mission? I, I'm not sure, but it's really it's like a, it's like it's similar to photogrammetry, but the difference is that photogrammetry uses a predefined algorithm generate a 3D model of what NERV uses A. As the name suggests, it uses a neural network, just like Chachi. So that's how we'll generate a 3D model from a 2D image. Uh, there's different methods. There's NERV, there's photogrammetry, there's LIDAR. For measurement purposes, LIDAR is the most accurate. Photogrammetry is the second. And then NERV is the third. Um, Unfortunately, but Nerf is like, I think it runs pretty fast. Uh, and then it's like, it's, uh, I'm not sure of the exact benefits over like photogrammetry specifically, but I do know that it's like, has different cons and pros, pros and cons. So, uh, just a quick, I went a little tangent here regarding like what kind of thing I work on when it comes to software engineering, like I said before, about making myself a career, and also, like, my singer, and trying to get a private pilot license, so aspiring, like, real-life private pilot, also aspiring business owner, because I want to start, like, a, like, a, even like an electric plane pump, you know, there's electric cars, there's electric it's electric everything. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, but there's no electric plane though. So I'm going to start an electric plane company for it. It's going to require a lot of energy. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. That's the, thing. That's the only concern. But maybe start from like avionics, like Garmin. Those companies are doing. Like the G1000 and stuff. Or Honeywell. Honeywell could be, also be an example of like a company that makes airplane avionics. Also, one of the uh, aerospace engine um, areas that are, I think it's going to be a high margin because, like, compared to, like, for example, Crown of Whitney, that makes airplane engines, hardware companies make less margin compared to, like, software because uh, it's just manual labor and stuff. So, what is going on? <laughs> that was weird. But, uh,. Yeah, uh, <laughs> one four zero. Yeah. Fourteen thousand. Uh. Washington Center Love, FedEx six zero four, flight level three four zero. FedEx six zero four, Washington. Hello, Ida. By the way, Ida means Ida is here. Um, if you guys are wondering what IDET is, there's uh, this switch, I pushed it, it's, what, uh, it's called IDET, you basically, it sends a signal to the ATC and then, Contact four, radar contact, one zero miles, northeast of Lancaster, flight level three, four, zero. Compare is your spot, or with the control, um, making sure that they reach. I'm not sure if that's the exact definition, because I'm not a real pilot. I'm an aspiring pilot trying to get my private pilot license. Yeah. 
you know that's American 511 contact Potomac approach 119er 185 Roger American 511 contact approach uh, can you repeat the frequency again American 511 119er 185 Roger 119.85 American 511 Is that right? Right. Is that is that um is that the right frequency? It says PCT. Automatic approach. What? Okay. Automatic approach. Is that right? I'm not sure. Where is automatic? It just sounds very sus. Southwest 1188 contact. Um, uh, Washington Center. One two six right, seven. Twenty six eighty seven Southwest eleven eighty eight. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I saw radar. Twenty seven. We are directing for you right now. I see Kepler twelve twenty seven. Flight heading zero two so zero. So currently according to Wikipedia, it says it's a automatic consolidated track in which is PCT. It's a faculty facility in charge of Washington DC. Air traffic control flight level. American 511 is passing out to uh, 13,000 feet. Give me 1227. Traffic's going to be 2 to 3 o'clock and 3 miles, turning uh, southeast bound Airbus 320 at 3,000 feet. Roger, we got them on the peak gas, but we can't see them. We've passed in the skirt of the mail, and we're not concerned. Right. American 511, Potomac approach, greetings, information, echo, current, altimeter, tree zero, tree, tree, and expect the LDA, uh, LDA Zulu, runway 19 approach. Roger, American 511, uh, expect, uh, LVA uh, Y19 approach, uh, information echo, or optimal 300. LDA Y. So we're almost at 10,000. American 832, contact Washington Tower, 119.1. Delta 832, Washington Tower, 119.1. 191, Delta 832, thank you, good night. Yeah. Southwest 5406, descend and maintain 4,000. Um, I mean, descend. 4,000, Southwest 5406. Did enter the disk data field of view, check. Turn it, set. Ah, uh, 3,000. In American 511, just to clarify, that's the LDA Zulu uh, one nine approach. Roger, um, LDA Zulu one niner, uh, American 511. Zulu. What's the difference between Yankee and Zulu? American 511. What's the difference between Yankee and Zulu? I'd have to actually check the uh, approach plates, but we're running ODA Zulu and or the RNAV RMP. I can give you the Yankee if you want. Yeah, I'll go with the Zulu, uh, American 5 Keep the 1227, continue left, heading 270. Spoilers. Spoilers up. Continue right, heading 270. 
All right, continue right 270. So bearer value has been reset it, so we're gonna have to enter that again. Approach. Up to 5406, new speed to 180. 180 for 5406. It's gotta be LDA Zulu. It's gonna be MDA value is gonna be 70. Alright, JetBlue 1227, turn left heading 190. Decision altitude, that's where the aircraft is going to signal you at 720 feet. It's going to signal you minimal, which means if you can't see the runway at minimum altitude, you're going to have to go down. That's like, that's why it's called a decision altitude. Um, JetBlue 1227, proceed direct Fergie. Cross Fergie Air above 3000, clear for the RNAV RMP 1990. Clear to Fergie, across Fergie, and Air above 3000, clear the RNAV uh, runway 1990. Seriously, seatbelts? I never turned off seatbelt sign, which is kind of hilarious. I'm so sorry for you guys. You guys have to turn. You guys have to sit the whole entire time. Portrait, you know, 379 is out of 7,000 for 10,000. That's 379, Potomac uh, departure, greetings, trying to maintain 1,700. Up to 1,700, you know, 379. Potomac approach, good evening, light sport, November 577, Juliet. Oh my gosh, it's like. Uh, sport, November 577, Juliet, Potomac approach, good evening. Investigating about uh, two miles south okay. of Whiskey Two Niner, two thousand three hundred feet, climb three thousand, looking for a far flight following. This year, when this year, Captain speaking, we're going to be we're going to be landing at Washington D.C. in a very short while. Around, we're expecting around ten minutes. Fifty four zero six, turn right, heading one seven zero. Southwest 5406, turn right heading 170. Southwest 5406, turn right heading 170. Right heading 170, Southwest 51st. Alright, we're descending to 7000. We're gonna turn all the way around. Oh, I see why it's Zulu. It's because um, we're making like a, almost like a U turn. It's a different approach because Yankee used to be like that. Zulu all right, like Jeffrey, twelve point seven contact Washington Tower one one nine point one. Right Tower one nine point one. Jeffrey, I'm guessing the air traffic controller is gonna give us some like vector direction. Southwest fifty four zero six. And then we're going to have to just establish a point here. Not approach mode, but localized mode. And we're going to align to the... Sorry, align to the... Fergie cross Fergie at or above 3,000. And then we're going to go visual. We're going to have to switch mode. And then we do... Alright, we're going to go to the Southwest 5406. Picture number 2 behind the Airbus 320 on a 6 mile flight. Cross speed. Cross speed on AQ speed off. But AQ start and on. It's just dangerous. So cool, isn't it? Okay. 8,500 feet. I don't even have to look the checklist anymore, you know? I'm such an expert in maintenance as well. I'm just kidding. Modern pilot. So, yeah, 379, contact Washington Center, 133.72. 33.72. Make it word for anything. We'll see ya. Sport uh, 577 Juliet, say aircraft type and definition. Yeah, uh, Life Sport 577 Juliet, we are a uh, Technum Papa 902 Eaglet.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Where our aircraft is going to shake a little bit, so please make sure you fasten your seatbelts. Yeah, I am transmitting with you. Uh, cabin crew. Cabin crew, take your seat. American 511, just going to maintain 4,000. Roger, American 511, 4,000. Okay, descent. In November 5, going, we're vectoring 4, 5, from now 7, 7, 7, you are. Oh, radar contact. Uh, one five, actually, uh, let's see, two zero miles southeast of Baltimore. You gave three thousand. Uh, seat on course. And uh, VFR up to your discretion. Captain, do this just check seat on course. To, uh, We're going to turn off. Turn, turn on all the freaking lights. Go into the dark zone. Ladies and gentlemen, our aircraft will be shaking promptly. Enjoy it. Enjoy the ride, everyone. Southwest 5406, contact Washington Tower, 119.1. Yeah. We're pretty close to that, not going This is like flawed, it's not even foul. American 511, you can descend and maintain 3,000. Roger, descend and maintain 3,000. Being American 5, left. Spoilers are almost there, guys. We're almost there. Just gotta wait a little bit more. Basically, you're like right here, so we're gonna like turn them off. I'm guessing the air traffic controller is gonna vector, meaning what vectoring means is air traffic controller is like manually giving you headings and stuff. Like, and sport 77 like freaking flight simulator default ATC, they're giving you altitude. Two whiskey, six. Heading and altitude. Two whiskey six. American 511 is passing out to 3,000 feet. Come on. 511, Roger. I need to go to freaking turn around. Come on. You're gonna, you're gonna have to give me some heading. Okay. We're descending. Flaps is going to one. Oh my gosh. 511, turn right, heading 060, yep. vector C approach. Roger, American 511 Take care. Flight 1150, Potomac Approach. Greetings, contact Potomac Approach on 126.1 and take care of this. 126.1, thank you. We'll see. American 511, right turn, sorry, right turn heading to correction, 090. Ladies and gentlemen, the aircraft is shaking very, very badly. Please make sure you have your left it. heading 180. American 511, because you're heading. American 511, left heading 180. 180, American 511. And the Potomac Bridge, American 1944, 2000, uh, climbing 5000, ZFD, JW4. American 1944, Potomac, Archer, please. Uh, 
cast change mode. Pops one. I'm gonna search that out. American Five Eleven, just to make sure, could you confirm the heading again? American Five Eleven, it was one eight zero. Now you can continue left, turn left, heading zero two zero. Roger, turn left zero two zero. American Five Eleven. Yeah, this is called bed dragging. It's really absolutely naked. That's it's so annoying. This. Look at what I'm doing, all right, guys? I'm doing this. <laughs> this is what I'm doing, all right? And this is just, it's just a pain, okay? It's just a pain. I don't want to do this. Oh, yeah, don't worry. My messages are not transmitting between this. I only have to press this trigger button on my joystick. I'm not sure you, you guys probably want to see it on the screen, but I have my Airbus joystick. Right, side stick right uh, next to me. I have to basically it only transmits to A to C while I'm holding the trigger button. It's a push to talk on Discord. Um, it's not Discord. It's actual like massive ATC network, but you know. Uh, and if you guys are curious, four five seven Juliet, St. Mary's County altimeter three zero three six. Zero three six five. Correction seven seven Juliet. Approaching to the ten twenty three ten many fourteen thousand with Delta for Richmond. Seven ten twenty three approach. Thanks. For I didn't barely see anything in Washington D.C. I thought I could see like White House and the uh, Liberty Tower thing and everything. You know. I forgot the name of the whole thing. Like it's a tall stick. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry about this. 1023, Roger, you can expect this approach from a 2 0. I can see why the controller suggested a LVA approach. Contact Washington, 7, 3, this is impossible. 7, 3, this should be Captain American approach. American this should not be like below Captain approach. It's not an ILS, it's, it's below ILS of which we're doing. This is cat 3 condition, right? <laughs> this is cat 1 condition. Same cat 3. This is... The visibility is... Shitty. American 511, turn right heading 130. 130, turn right. Uh, American 511. 130. 130. 130. Here we go. All right, American 511, proceed direct Fergie, cross Fergie at about 3,000. After Fergie, clear to the LDA Zulu runway 19. Roger, American 511, direct to Fergie at 3,000 feet, then proceed a LDA Zulu approach to runway. It's not one niner, uh, American five eleven. I'm gonna go a little bit low because it's all. It's too much. Turn on the equalizer mode. We are in fact. Good evening, I have 541, 6.9, finally turned down. Yeah, 541, coming to departure. Do you need to maintain 17,000? I maintain 17,000. Interesting. We're going to go auto medium. 
just because we cannot see the runway. You're down. That's two. American 511, contact Washington Tower, 119.1. Roger, uh, 119.1, American 511. I seem to be way too happy. A lot of the visibility is like Catherine condition. We're doing like a LDA Zulu approach. Not in Niles. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's pretty okay. Not as bad as not as bad as I thought. Is that the Pentagon? Sorry, I probably should have mentioned this. I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, I think this is DC downtown. Downtown DC. Oh, let me say. American 511 is passing out to 2,000 feet, uh, approaching runway 19. American 511, Washington Tower, same tension. American 511, um, runway in sight. Okay, American 511, would you like to land? Yes, please, American 511. Okay, American 511, wind 1506, runway 19, clear to land. Roger, clear to land, runway 19, American 511. You can see the tower thing I talked about. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Glorious tower. I forgot the name of it again. Um, yeah, all the landmarks. Pretty cool. Uh, we gotta do visual. I'm not even sure where Washington Airport is. I hope that's not. Oh, okay. what about this? We're gonna have to do a little circling here. Left street. Uh, speed brakes to full. Left full. That is so cool. That's the coolest approach I've ever done. And get out. One of my days. That's the cool. Oh, oh, oh. oh. American 511, go around. American 511, climb MT 3000, fly runway heading. Roger, fly runway heading, uh, climb MT 3000. Uh, Jeez. That was not good. That was one of the worst endings I ever done. I didn't know there was a circling approach. I've never done an approach here. So it's like everything was very good to me. That was not cool at all. Yeah. It was very embarrassing. Oh, fine. Pops up. I know.
going for a landing grade is fine. You can do a great day. That was so embarrassing, guys. That was one of the worst approaches I've ever done. But I guarantee you guys, next approach, this next attempt is going to be really amazing. It's going to be really amazing. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Sorry about that, little bump. Um, but um, I guarantee you guys, the next approach is going to be better. And uh, me and the first officer is, are working immensely hard to really nail this approach. So. Make sure you fasten your seatbelt. Fast run. Here's up. Checks. Auto brake. Medium. I knew the runway was going to be short. by the way. This is one of the worst approaches I've ever done after Santa Ana airport. I'm, I'm really bad at landing at Orange County, too, um, just because of the runway range. You can barely let the eight inches in there, so. And Washington's like on a different level. This is barely on the top. Right at 5 11, we're gonna check. One nine one nineteen point eight five nineteen. American five level radio check. Um, current altitude is three thousand feet. American five eleven, public departure five by five. Radar contact. Uh, you want to try the LDA Z one nine approach? Here? Roger that. American five eleven. American five eleven. Thanks. Maintain three thousand and turn right heading. Uh, three four zero. Roger, three four zero, American five eleven. Denver ten twenty three fields twelve o'clock two zero miles reported in set. I actually have the field inside in Denver ten twenty three. Denver ten twenty three, thanks for clear from the visual approach, runway two zero. Visual teaser. Right. do we need to uh, request pushback? Aircraft calling from departures, the call sign again. America 106 is looking for pushback here at Ray again. American 106, push back approved, take a look back. Extremely poor visibility again. Feels like 
Outer tank fuel ex expert. Let's make it a little more. Turn on the ACs. There we go. Um, stuff like that. Cargo. Cargo school. We don't need heating for, for the cargo. Can you actually see the pumpkin? Yeah. Might direct to like here and then get no. This is like taking forever though. Because we're going very slow, besides, you can barely see anything, so you don't really know where you are. I mean, things happen, shit happens, yeah. It happens. Which river is that? So, Mississippi River or something? Uh, So, we're almost there, we're almost there. The thing really interesting about my you know, EFD is that the background, which looks really cool, it's an like A3 as well, same aircraft that flying right now. Denver, Actually, 2K. 23, wind 1404, runway 20, clear to land. I actually took it south in Cambodia, uh, on a plane trip. I was in South Korea. A lot of people go to Cambodia because it's cheap, um, inexpensive. It's like uh, the Caribbeans for the um, Americans and the Canadians. Some approach, good evening, uh, JetBlue 924 to uh, Cap 5 and, uh, information echo. JetBlue 924, the public approach, good evening, thanks for echo, you can expect the LDA Zulu runway 19 approach. LDA Zulu 19 approach, and can we request the RNF RAP runway 19? JetBlue 924, uh, Roger, you expect the RNP. I don't need the localizer. Extend RP1 air approach, JetBlue 924, thank you. I mean, honestly, it's just a good job. Why not? Subject departure, Frontier Zone. It's been two hours and ten minutes since takeoff. That's your 511 50, Potomac departure, good evening, climb maintain, flight level 190. So this is the LDA Zulu approach. You have to like, you have to get to the circle around. It's go. like Thai talk in Hong Kong. It's crazy. Why would you do that? Runway 19. Here, Juliet, cross runway 15. Here, Juliet, cross runway 15. Right, come on, just six seconds. I mean, there's a lot of people landing right now, so we're gonna have to be very careful. We're pretty low, a few thousand feet. Kill the dog. Absolutely insane. It's actually, I feel like it's worse thing. Jeez. Oh.
American 511, turn right, heading 010. Roger, 010, American 511. Departure Franklin 106, ready to go, runway 100. American 106, wind 150 at 6, runway 19, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 19, American 106, thanks. Maybe I should have just gone Keep to this international airport instead of this weirdness. Regan. Regan International. He's a Regan National Airport. Oh, they are. They are. Both. Oh, it's national. Okay, so apparently Regan National Airport, due to its short runway size, only offers domestic flights to Canada and Caribbean. Domestic flights and flights to Canada. Um, yeah. Good to know. Because we're, we have auto brake mid, not low. So that's the, um, yeah, I still cannot see anything. It's a short runway, so it has a circling pattern, and then you got low visibility, and then it's a LDA approach, no localizer or anything like that. American 511, turn right heading through 8 American 511, uh, repeat the heading again, 280. Well, 511, right, 080. 080, American 11. American 106, radar contact, stay up to leave. American 1400, 106. American 106, thanks, climb and maintain 17000. 17000, 106. Heading to 2000 feet. We're gonna be, we're gonna go a little bit lower because last time it was way, way too high. We don't want to do that. American 511, uh, can I drift to Fergie? Uh, American 511, if you, you can make it direct uh, from where you're at, uh, direct Fergie, cross Fergie at above 2000. Roger, Fergie at 2000, American 511. Down, then increase more drag. Increase drag. Frontier 5150, contact Washington Center. Sorry. Washington Center 126.87. Frontier 1150, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. We're at 2000. Tricky at all. American 511 after Fergie clear for the LDA Zulu Roger, American 511 clear for a LDA Zulu approach, uh, on the 19. Welcome to Mission Special. Welcome to Mission Special. Welcome to Mission Special. Welcome to Mission Special. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'm taking some wild turns here. Um, that's Eric downtown five, Washington. Wind, one, five, zero, six, runway 19er, clear the land. Roger. Runway 19er, clear the land. Um, 511. Right? That is a very, very difficult approach. Okay, 
Yeah, I don't know if you've flown the river visually. I hope the autopilot knows which, uh, that's not good. I'm like, that's not good. We're gonna set it to 140. It is not a fun It's not a fun This is one of the worst approaches I've ever done. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Let's see. One time. A thousand. To like turn. Hundred above. Jesus. Minimum. This is the craziest bullshit. This is like Kai Talk. Plus one. One sixty knots. One sixty knots. Yeah. Five hundred. Five hundred. Oh my days. What the fuck? <laughs> Too low, but not too shabby. Better than high. Being low is better than high, but I mean, too low, you're going to crash into the train. So it's good. You made it. American 511, next thing, runway 19. American 511, uh, welcome to the nation's capital. Make your next right on to, uh, looks like Juliet, to the ramp, Juliet, Kilo 5, Kilo. Roger, Juliet, Kilo, Kilo 5, American 511. Juliet, Kilo 5, Kilo. Set. If you on start American one zero six, uh, check your trans or uh, your altimeter. Show you uh, one seven thousand four hundred. Uh, Baltimore altimeter is three zero three two. Yeah, we didn't have that set right for one zero six. We'll get back down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Washington, D.C. Uh, current time, I don't know. Uh, please uh, remain seated while the gate, while the plane rolls to the gate. Strobe light, auto, taxi, tractor, so. So far, the craziest thing I've Okay, um, park your face off. Um, Romeo, Juliet, Julie, whatever. Uh, so we got to turn right.
Jimmy Flyer. American uh, 511. Do you know of any gates that American Airlines uses? All American 511 uh, negative uh, connection. American 106, contact Washington Center, 125.45. 125.45, thank you, Mr. Thank you. Doing a single engine tax test. Fusion aircraft information Foxtrot now current at Washington National. Land 170 at 7, altimeter 3032. Oh, I just thought it going to Concourse 5. Um, I don't know which uh, airline gate that is, but. Oh, God, American Road Go Health Fast. Delta 1128, contact Potomac Approach 126.1. Have a good night. 26.1, Delta 1128. See ya. JetBlue 924, just maintain 3000. Just maintain 3000, JetBlue Seems like an okay-ish gate. Yeah. As you can see, uh, engine two, engine two is already off. The single engine taxi, as usual. Gonna park at gate 32. Yeah, it is American Airlines. Um, why is there a United? Seems like almost all the things are is uh, in that thing. It's not a bad part. <laughs> That's not a bad part. Okay. Parking is set. Engine cut off. AP bleed is turning on. Electric pump off. Cross speed to auto. Connecting exit power. Start the aborting process. This parking is too small for your aircraft. Strobe light off. This off. parking the boarding requested. Uh, American Airlines. This parking That's is correct. too small for your aircraft. Nine twenty four. Turn right, heading three six zero vector speed approach. This parking right, heading three six zero vector for the approach. Step blue nine twenty four. American 5 Light Engine cut off. Thank you so much. This American 5 Have a great night. Jetway doesn't work. That sucks. Yeah, Jetway 924 reduced the 210. The 210 Jetway 924. Parking's it's not a bad part. Not gonna lie, it's not a bad part. Like, look at how straight it is. I have no idea why this is like tilted. Good night, twenty four turn right heading zero nine zero. What you can see is you can see the interior of this airport. Oh, uh, can't even see the American flag. <laughs> Passengers bus is coming. I see Mark. 
famous Washington Airport Snarky kind of design here. Can't even see it. Um, anyhow, we've got the Dwarski designs. Dwarski designs. Uh, yeah, airport, whatever the thing is, yeah. Why is it passing? Was just a little job here. Um, but anyhow, uh, it's pretty cool. Thank you so much for joining my stream. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. This was uh, a flight from a flight from uh, Orlando to Washington D.C. I, I just didn't did not expect that. Did not expect that to be this hard. But I guess here we are. And uh, things are looking pretty good. Um, yeah, thanks for playing with me. See ya. Bye.